This is Jay Krishnamurti's seventh discussion with teachers at Brockwood Park, 1980. If I may, I'd like to say that, point out, or rather inform, or tell you along what lines I've been thinking. I hope I'll make it clear. If it's not, we'll talk about it. I'm sure you also have been feeling, as I've been feeling, We started this Brockwood with the understanding that those who came here should give a great deal of their time and their energy to the understanding of the teachings. That was the intention and still is the intention from the day we started. But from what the other day I heard one of you say, that I haven't time to go into all this, because I'm much too busy. From that and other things, I think we've come to a point that there must be a change. This is the lines along which we have been thinking. That those who are interested in the teaching should have much more time to be concerned with that. And to do that, to spend their time, their energy, into the investigation of themselves, into the whole intention of Brockwood, which is the understanding of the teachings, you should have much more time to go into this. For that purpose, I'm rather hesitant because I'm also feeling my way into it, so please be patient with me. Right? Right? that we should not immediately, perhaps, within a year or two, not have boys and girls of 14, 15, but only have students from 16 on, or have students who have already taken A level or O level and want to come here and stay here and to study further or not to study further. What do you think of it? Am I putting it right? Because Mrs. Sim- Mrs. Simmons, Mrs. Zimbalist and I were talking about this yesterday. And we haven't had enough time to go into it fully. But this is what the direction we are thinking. You understand? What do you say to that? I think many of the staff has been feeling in a similar way that too much of our time is used up. Huh? Too much of our time is given over to getting students ready for examinations and for all the necessary activity of school. So what do you, how do we, realizing that, how do we change it, the whole structure of this present state? 
You understand what I'm saying, sir? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. That we haven't enough time and the energy to go into all into the serious matters of life, which we have, which we discussed the other day about images. It really is the feeling of it being a school, although it will be a sort of school, that it isn't what might be called a grammar school from yes. which we work around. But it will, it may not be even called a school. Exactly. Yes. That, that, you're, that, we would, that it's necessary to deal with more adult people. What you're saying is not meant for children, it's meant for adults. And, uh, and in, in dealing with a school, as we have done, I think it's becoming clear that our energies are taken away to just do teaching of subjects more and finding out how to do it in the best possible way and linking it all. But that is revealing itself as not being the right development for, for investigating what we came here to do. This is the lines according to which we have been thinking. Uh, we haven't gone into all the details, all the implications of it. The financial position, if there are less students, where, how will you get the money to maintain this place? And <clears throat> We also were thinking that people who are really interested to come here, pay board and lodging, and so on. So financial problem may be solved fairly easily. But do we all of us agree to this? Huh? I'm not quite sure about everything you're saying. I, mean, I might have misunderstood it. Is, is part of the suggestion that there might be more people coming who would just be here for three or four weeks rather than for a year? Is that part I of the suggestion? I think there would be, as far as it's been thought <coughs> out, that there would be like people taking the Open University exams, say the senior students who want to qualify, they could go on. It might reduce the school to, say, a third of its size. And at 16, they should at least have had all their O-levels <coughs> gotten, taken. Possibly even, you could have younger students if they show themselves to be seriously interested in learning and going into this. But not that we are saying, look, listen to what we're saying, try and understand what we're saying, and come towards this thing, but rather that they are hammering on the door and saying, look, come on, let's, <coughs> let's go into this. That it should not be made uh, uh, trying to induce them to do this, but they should say, already have seen that this is something that they want to be doing. So those would be the students that would be Those prepared. would be the students. It, I would see it as being one yes. third of the school. Yes. Is it, but it's also part of the suggestion, mm -hmm. perhaps to, to get some income, to have more people here who would be staying for more than a week, let's say two weeks at a time. Or even longer. Yes. You see, I think That's you could supplement the loss of income, which has to be met, because it takes a certain amount to run the place, by, when Krishna Ji is here, having adult seminars, to which people not only pay for their board and lodgings, but they pay for being here, for participating in what's going on here. Those of us who are here are <coughs> doing some teaching, but less continuous teaching right the way through the day, so that you'd have more time to go into all this. 
and also the, the students you have would be learning on their own, they'd be discovering how to learn on their own. It would be more like a, I would see it more like a university than a grammar school. And using the marvellous facilities that are available of the Open University. And that from the seminars we might uh, find the, the serious people that have said they want to come and really do this and they can get included on this perhaps. And also if I may point out, <coughs> this is, um, we're investigating, you understand, so we're not come to any definite conclusion. It wouldn't be right to come any to any different conclusion without all of us understanding it, going into it, seeing what the implications are. I've heard many people after the gathering, not only this year, previous years, they said, I wish it wasn't a school. Because that limits the place that makes us feel only b um, for students and staff, teachers. So I wish you would open it up. Hmm? And I, I we passed it off. Suppose <clears throat> I am one of the outsiders. I live in Brighton. I want to come here. I have enough little money. I'll pay for my lodgings. I want to hear I want to be here and participate not in the work of education, education of the students, however small, but I want to be I want to join a group of people who are educating themselves. Who are in not a level and O level, but educating themselves along a different line. Many people have said this. And I've been thinking about it a great deal, both <clears throat> in India it has arisen, this question. Many are not interested in the schools. But they say we want to have a place where we can all meet, discuss with you be with you, talk with you. That's one side of the whole problem of Brockwood too. And the other side is, if we don't have, if we only have students 30 or 20 or whatever number, from 16 onwards, taking open university, we'll have more time to go into other matters. That's the line along which we have be, I've been thinking about. It may mean a great deal of change here, you understand? And so on. What do you say to all this? What Mrs. Simmons has explained, what I've tried to point out what, what is your say in the matter? It seems like it would give all of us more of an opportunity to fulfill the original intention of this place, as you stated it. But will you? Or use that leisure? <laughs> you follow what I mean? Will I, if I'm one of, one of the staff, will I be serious enough, have the intelligence enough, have a good mind enough to say, look, I'll go into it with all of you. You follow, sir? Mm -hmm. Will we do it? Or it will become another ashrama. You know what an ashrama is? Do you? That's a Sanskrit word which means retreat. The Catholics have places of retreat. 
You must know something about him, sure. Originally, in India, it meant a place where people who have finished with the world came under a guru or a leader who people who wanted to be with good good people. You understand? Am I explaining something? Huh? Am I explaining it? Who wanted to spend their time meditating, thinking, investigating, lead a religious, so-called religious life. That was originally, I believe, meant the word ashrama. But now it has become a word, terrible word, because they have become these gurus exploit people, you know, all the rest of it. But if you could use that word ashrama in its original sense, perhaps it might be used, but one has to be very careful about it. That's one side of the whole thing. And the other is, as Mrs. Simonson pointed out, and also we've talked about it, that if you take boys and girls from the age of 16 who, who will go through the Open University, or boys and girls who have already taken A-level and O-level and want to be here. You follow, sir? Yeah. And those who are not uh, part of the, what do you call it, A-level and O-level and open university, they'll say, we would like to come here seriously to study, to live, to go through all that. We could, we could combine both, which means that all of us have some leisure, more leisure. What do you say to all this? I think it seems the, the leisure aspect does seem very important because it does seem that Pardon? with having leisure it does seem very important because it seems at the moment that one is continuously pressurised to do a lot of uh, academic work, which takes up a lot of time. And so, do you think, do you also time. think along these lines? Very much so. Do you? Please, the voice come together. I, I see how it would, I mean, it's quite easy to see how this would help the teachers in coming down their load. Um, it's not quite so apparent to me how it would help um, the kitchen or the office or some of the other places, which really have quite a heavy load. The teachers can work in the gardens yes. and the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> so everybody can I don't see this will help the teachers, the academic staff, but it, I, he doesn't see how it will help people working in the garden, in the kitchen, in the office. And that is so, but teachers will be able to and the people who come here to visit will be able to take part in that. And also, there won't be all this endless sort of uh, adolescent troubles to... There's no end to it. And the, the better you do it, the more you may do. I mean, if I come from Brighton, I not only uh, want to discuss, study and all that, I said part of my work is to work in the garden. In the, in the vegetable garden, or mowing the lawn, or whatever, I'll help in any direction. It's an adult learning centre. Of course, of course. That really seems to take most of our energy, is this adolescence. Yes. For me, the, the teaching, I could teach as many hours, and I, I wouldn't care, I would gladly do that. <clears throat> but all the other, you would think, just trivial things we have to deal with, yeah. if, if that was dealt with... What do you say? I'm going to ask... What do you think? Well, I, I, I feel very much that um, we haven't had enough time to do what we've really come here for. I've been feeling this for a long time. And as you say, it's only just been voiced and we haven't really thought it out yet, but I, I can see that it's a step in the right but direction. Do you, do, are you thinking along these lines? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Does it, appear, does it say something to you? Oh, yes. Huh? Yes. I think it says 
Oh, you all, uh, you all feel the same. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> I'd like to just add something. I feel, I feel the same, I think, basically. Ever since I've been here, it's been obvious that people don't have enough leisure to think straight. <laughs> put it right, so we create the leisure. But can I, can I add one or two things? Um, I think what we're trying to do here, even now, is still tremendously worth doing, even if we decide not to go on with it and do what we're now looking at, which may be the right thing, I still think that this attempt to deal with adolescence, if you like, is tremendously worth doing, if not by us, at least by anyone who will do it. Wondering where to send my daughter to school when she gets older, I would love there to be places like this around. And so, if we decide to go on this way to older people, I still think that if anyone can do something for younger people, it's still worth doing. Maybe not here, but I, maybe I'm confusing things. But if we give up what we're doing now, okay, but it's still worth doing somewhere. I don't think we're giving it up. I think we're saying, look, an enormous amount of energy gets siphoned off with children, really. Yes, but what, what I'm saying is that... And that's still but in itself worth doing, maybe not by We be educating us. ourselves so that you could educate your daughter. You see, you, you, it, a lot depends on your own home, back, your, the background. So, and also, I think there's, there are movements that, are, that we can still continue, say with the One Man, One Earth classes, those things, all that can still go on, which will have an impact eventually, I hope and think. Uh, what we are really saying is that uh, we would cut down uh, drastically on the number of students so that we would only have s students who, are, uh, who really want to be here and who are serious and with whom we have no problems in a sense. On whom Right now we have many students on whom uh, we waste quite a lot of time and energy. So we are saying that... Uh, spend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> spend. <laughs> and so we won't have that... So, do you, are you thinking along the same line? Yes, yes. I think it would do. Uh, you think that's right? Yes, yes I no, think... No, be careful, don't be personal. No. no. Not that you're personal, I'm just no. saying this. We must find out if it is the right thing to do. Mm. Not my convenience or your convenience. No. Or I have friends who are... children are here or anything. But is this the right direction which we should take? Well, I can see from when the school first started, we had about 20 students, and we really had much more leisure then. Even though we had problems, we also had much more leisure. And now I see with 60 students, you know, our leisure is really almost gone. But so I see that it would improve the what situation. What do we do with our leisure? That's going to be the all important. Yes, thing. that's that's a very, me, that's another question. That that we can all we can organize. We can go into all the details of what to do when when this takes place. Yes. The, don't let's discuss details no. now, right? Or how this should be done? How many number of students be? How many people outsiders can come and all that? Yes. We can dis we can go into the in details later on, but. Is this the right direction that we all want? Seems right. Yes. <laughs> 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 Let me ask a question. I, it's a complete newcomer. Um, I, I really don't know whether this is an opinion worth hearing, but. Um, apropos of what Brian Nicholson said, um, I understand that there are some young students who write to the school because they're unhappy in the schools that they're in, and also because this school in other ways provides something which no other schools do. If you're going to exclude young students from 13 and 14 and 15 year olds and so forth, 
Aren't you going to stop something, which is rather important? We probably are by doing that, but I think from the actual doing of it, what is becoming clear, or the actual action of doing it is revealing, that it's taking the energy that should be given to something else away. Yes, indeed. I understand. And I, I feel really that 14, and I felt so for, for many years now actually, that 14, really there are very few students who shouldn't be being cared for by their parents and looked after, not be troubled or have to investigate all these life problems, living problems, at that age. And so they, they don't see the point of it, and they become troubled by it. I mean, I had somebody say to me just yesterday, uh, you know, what Krishna G is saying is against my religion. <laughs> <laughs> and because she's a child. Mm -hmm. Dorothy, she's a 17-year-old girl. Even so, she's got 17. the mentality of a, a child that yes. still needs protection. I know, but my point is, we seem to be assuming that taking on older students is good. we're going to take on less problems, but I don't see it necessarily follow. That was part of the taking on any new students as we uh, move into this, is that it should be someone who's suitable for this, because mm -hmm. many 20 year olds or 30 mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. is wrong. Well, exactly. <laughs> so, so, so it must be very similar. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, but I. The problem still remains, how do we select? We've always had this problem, and it will remain with us as far it, as but it, it, that, Those are details. There are people who those are details, if you don't mind. Right? Sir, I'm not trying to stop you from talking, sir. Sir, but I, I really don't feel it is a detail, because it's a detail which we've got, we haven't coped with at, at the, in the present situation. And if we, we can't cope with it in the present situation, how are we going to cope with it in a different situation? No, 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 that's... It's, it's very difficult to cope with. You... One, because it isn't just one action. There are many actions to it. We've had to take 60 students to make a financial way sort of viable. And there will be difficulties and dangers in this because the source of supply of money is not evident at the moment. So, but you've got to, I think you've got to say, <coughs> you can't have everything. And although I think it's a pity that we can't deal with 14-year-olds, and we can't deal with 10-year-olds, and we can't deal with junior schools, I think you've got to say, is this moving in the direction that we really want to go into? And I think then you have to make the decision. Well, I feel that the way I look at it is it's much more dangerous to deal with 14 year olds in an incomplete way, in an incorrect way, than not dealing with them at all. If you haven't got time to do what we set out to do, and I haven't, mm -hmm. then what am I doing for the 14 year old? And also, if I may point out too, are we flowering as human beings in the deepest sense of the world? Have we time to go into all? That's the reason, Brock, one of the main reasons Brockwood came into being. Right, and what, what we're saying is that was the main reason, but now it's been overtaken by looking after these children and their problems. Yes, that's right. And I would like to speak up for something I felt for a long, long time, <coughs> which is the examination of Krishna Ji's time and energy <coughs> in relation to his teaching and inevitably talking to young, immature students who, for the most part, don't really mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. what he's talking about, or certainly not the depth of it. <coughs> Is that the right use of his mm -hmm. present mm -hmm. health and remaining life? Should he not be talking to more mature people who would get more from mm -hmm. I think also that, I mean, if if you're not involved in a school and you are interested in, in, in what's being said, and there are a lot of people, not only in England and in Europe too, who would really like to come and spend their holidays, maybe two or three weeks, investigating this and find it really difficult to come into contact with other people who are also interested in the same way. And I think that and it's really difficult for people on their own uh, being separated from other, you know, um, from other people interested in this to, to 
keep some sort of energy going. I think it would be really important for them. I was saying just age, because I feel that what we really need is to have serious people here. Mm -hmm. uh, we could get, you know, the people that you're talking about who come here for two or three weeks. And instead of the problems of adolescence, we have problems of, I, I haven't got the right room, I haven't got the right colour curtain, yes. and I haven't got the right room. But we, will, we would, I think that's what we would have to be careful of. So we can't carry this out immediately, naturally. <coughs> Perhaps a year or two. We should limit ourselves to... I think it should be the fact that we're, it's being talked about. Talked about, that's all. We're talking closer through and we're facing in that direction. Yes, that's all. And not going to details at present. Although I think that it should go through the schools, the students, because then I think that it would help them, it would communicate with them in a different way. Yes, that there's something. Instead of rules and this and this and this and this, they would see that we, by our action, we really mean this to be a serious place. And of course it's a very important thing, numbers. Forty people can feel they're together under a family. When you get to 60, you get splinter groups and working against one another. But keep it, if you can keep the whole community down to not more than 40, then you will feel together, you feel all belonging. Yes, sir. What I really wanted to <coughs> point out or ask, are we all in the same direction? Are we all thinking along these lines? To have more leisure and to use, utilize that leisure for real purpose for which we are here, and second, so that we don't have to spend all our energy about curtains and uh, toilets and who sleeps with whom and all the rest of it. And the other is, as long as you call it a school, people shrink from it. They want to send their children, but they say, please, that's all right for them, not for me. I've heard this so much. You here. want to drop the word educational from the title too. Yes. So we we'll have to be a bit careful. Uh, it doesn't matter now, but uh, mm. I think we we'll have to be careful because as a charity, of course, we of get course. many things done. Yes. I'm just saying we must go very, very carefully, mm. intelligently, yes. and not just rush into mm. it. But I'm, I'm still asking. Are we in thinking together about this matter? Christian G, I, I, I personally have been thinking about this for some while. I think definitely we need more leisure. Huh? I think definitely we need more leisure. I think also we need to have older students. Um, I wonder, bearing in mind what has been said about what Brian said, for example, about schools, whether we wouldn't, couldn't also include thinking about having older students, young adults here, who would be here for, say, some years, and then they would go out and be teachers, perhaps in some of the Krishnamurti schools. Well, no, that would be, I mean, that's part of it, really. And also, people who come for a short time, people say, I, I mean, when, when we first started, it was very difficult. Why did, how did you dare to start? So, and they feel that they want, they want to go into this, and then perhaps they might even start schools themselves. 
No, why do you think in schools? Suppose I come from but Brighton. Saying that's I'm not interested in school. That no, also, Christian. Wait, sir. Uh, but I'm interested in what, you know, all that. And I, at the end of certain time, I say, all right, I go and do write books, go around talking or do anything. Don't limit it to no, school. No, no, I'm certainly not limiting it. That as well, no, no. I mean, there might be some people of, of, uh, who, whose interest did go to that. Well, I'm saying schools, everything. writing, everything. anything. Meeting life. We don't dictate what they do and whatever they receive. Well, this actually has been going on for some long time here. Visitors have come from places like Brighton, and they've stayed here for a week, for three days, for two weeks. This it, has been going it's been on. Much more, not so casual, it's right. been much more serious, yes. more <coughs> gone into it, much more deliberately. And not from the point of view of the school, you see, mm. which is the contact now. Yes. Do we, sir? Country. Do we? Huh? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. What do you say, sir, Mr. Black? So you I, seem I think rather I, hesitant about well, it. Well, I'm yes, a bit querulous about it because <coughs> it seems to me that what the school has done and is doing is so good and so valuable. I'm not saying it's not. We're not saying it's not done good, but those of us who are here haven't got enough leisure, enough energy to go into this much more deeply. Yes. So I, I completely understand, and I. I go along with, with what you're saying and what you're proposing entirely, if that is confined to here. But it oh. seems to me that it would be a pity if no such school as this existed at all, because it, it, it really does provide something very valuable. Then what should we do, sir? Well, suppose, for example, that another school was started like this, to do all the, the sort of hard business of, of educating adults, of adolescents. <laughs> Where is the money? Where are the people? I don't know. Yeah. It seems to me to you. Uh, no, let's but that's be clear. A byproduct. That do we want? Does the present group say we'll we'll go to some other place and start a school? No, I don't think they're saying that. But people who come here might go into that, or they might write, or they might uh, whatever they do. To I agree. It. I agree. But is that what Mr. Black is saying? That's what he's saying. I think. Is no. no. No, well, she, she not quite. Say, regret, yes, not I, quite. I was saying that. It, it, it was a bit impractical, and I haven't thought about it properly. I'm sure that there are all kinds of practical difficulties. He says it would be a pity to let this cool go completely. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But he says he's in favour of the proposal. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I'm in favour of the proposal if, it's, if it were confined to here. But it would be a pity if a but school like this didn't exist mm -hmm. elsewhere. We're not saying well, there shouldn't be other schools. We're just saying. Well you're, mm, well, you're stopping everything here in favour of this new idea. Well, not everything. Not stopping not stop, not I don't quite follow it. this argument. Is he, he's, he, I think, saying that I it's a pity that this place, as a school, because he's saying he thinks there's something in the uh, that it becomes for adults only, really, uh -huh. rather than for children. Uh -huh. Is that so? Yes, that, that is more or less what I'm saying, yes. Huh? Well, the reason is he clear. Saying that he said that to yes. yes. And we're really saying, yes, we do feel that, but we found through the experience of this that that really is, is uh, mistaken if we Limited. pinpoint it down to there. Well, you, you have been doing it for a long time, and I haven't, so I don't know. I feel frustrated. I feel that I don't want to spend my life doing what I'm doing, yes. becoming a good administrator. I'm not only that, but it's moving in that direction. And it's moving in that direction to, to take away from the, the energy that is this place. And I think it's not, I see it for myself, and I think I see it in, in nearly everybody. Here. I'm not really very clear what 16 to 20 year olds would do here. They would, take, they would have to finish their education, or they would have said, I am interested in really living this way. I mean, uh, one student has come to me and said, I want to be here 
in this place to investigate all this. I really am not interested in the exams, although I see that I must take it if I've got to go and earn a livelihood. Mm -hmm. but that, that sort of stuff. That critical age of, of late teens, I mean, they might regret it not having obtained some qualification. Or we're not saying that we won't. We, we see the need too. And we're providing, uh, we're even going further, we're saying, instead of going to spend your time at an American university because you're a foreigner and you can't get into any English university or universities overall with all their shortcomings. You can do it here in the ambience of this place and get yourself a qualification too if you need it in life. What is the minimum age for you? 21. And that's under question just at the moment. Yeah, and it's, I was talking to somebody from the Open University who said if we get a group of people who are really seriously wanting to do this, they will meet our needs, which means they would probably drop the age limit. But surely we could accommodate also what is students who are 16, 17, who yes, are quite interested in the place and yes. don't see any problem. I think there yes, is well, yes, yes. Yes. Well, what, what, what concerning you in particular, I know we've got to discuss details, but I think we've got to get on to the story. <coughs> I mean, that age is a level of age. Uh, and it isn't, after all, our strongest point. It's our weakest point, in fact. Jim, I think, uh, if I understand it, it takes enormous energy and time and so on to get A-levels and to, f not only for the teachers, but for the students, and to, to go in the direction that, in order to earn a livelihood and so on. And we're saying you can go all over the world to do that. We're not proposing <coughs> the best in that direction. If you want to come, you might be risking something. Yes. Well, it's a risk that they'll the rest of their lives. They might be like a bit of a rest of their lives. That's exactly what we're saying. On the other hand, they might get something that from here that for the rest of their lives will do something more than exactly. What is Miss Fowler trying to tell us? What are you trying to say, sir? Well, I think we're exposing uh, teenagers to a big temptation to find a good rational excuse for dropping out of their studies, oh, which no, they no, might no, regret no, later on in no. life. No, I think you've got the wrong end of the stick. Yeah. We're not saying that. What, I, is, this the, is this what you're objecting to? Yes, I, I feel very that strongly is. about it. So we're saying that for their happiness, there's something much more they can learn. Much well, there's, there's a possibility, but we've been trying for 50 years and we haven't learned. Yes, but we know that it's to be done and can be done. We're not they say they could finish up spending three years here and not achieving this, this superior purpose and not having the inferior either. But James, they, they, can, nothing. Jim, they can leave here Having failed their A-levels and go somewhere else and take them. It's not a problem in this country. I mean, you don't have to, you don't, there's no age limit on A-levels. You can take A-levels when you're 80. You sound and concerned you go, for the student, but we're not offering them a third of what we could offer them. <coughs> by just keeping them to their academics. But... Uh, you see, I wonder, I wonder how we would, what we would do. I mean, oh, what, this extra time, we've, this extra leisure we've got, um, say from three o'clock till six o'clock in the afternoon. What are we going to do with these people to? We, we, we sir. We're not going to do anything with them. They are going to do something <laughs> themselves. That's the point. That is the whole point. But what are they going to do? They're going to investigate all these other things. We're going to talk together. We're going to meet as human beings in this place and go into it. We're going to live together. We're not going to have a school where we're going to say, this is what we're doing. Well, I think it would be a bit trying spend having a whole lifetime of discussions every day of one's life. But I'm sure that the teacher can be then what do you propose, in the context sir? What of do doing you, something serious with them. What do you propose? What do you propose, sir? What worries me, sir, is that I feel that there's got to be some serious um, purpose at a technological level. If we don't have that, we're going to be exposed to a lot of dropouts and neurotics who... But we, we, we'll be very no, careful in our choice. No but but, but what, what are you objecting to, sir? Well, you, this, you're is not, this, is the, this is what I'm objecting to. How, how do we choose them? We ah, but that's a detail. doing this, never. That's a detail. We've never thought about this problem. Sir. Yeah, because here we are. 
<coughs> also, when we take a, a, a young person today, we're more or less committed to keep them for, what, one, two, three terms or a year. Now, if under this circumstances we say, yes, you can come, and the person wants to fritter their time away, we back them off. off. <laughs> oh. there, Jim is, in a way, I can see how Jim is raising a, a valid point in that, for instance, it does play into our reasoning when we're choosing students that we need 60 students. And that has certainly warped how we look at students a little bit. <clears throat> if a circumstance came about where we had this different structure um, and we didn't have enough people here to meet our financial costs, it might also warp our perceptions of who we bring in just to bring in people to meet the costs. Well, we mustn't let that happen. Yes. But, we but, must what, find but what would be the difference between be not letting that happen time. then and not letting it happen now? Well, we'll have to... We still have the cost to meet in both cases. Yes, but we'll have to think we'll out a different, different approach to how we meet the financial requirements of this place. If we could do that, then that would help. That would be a, a very I, key I thing. That, but that has to be gone into and mm. all of us think hard about that. Mm. I'd and like to just... You wouldn't have to have the number of academic staff the staff of the human beings who were living and working here. And uh, vice versa. You, it, it's a, a more whole way of looking at it, too. It has dangers, I think that. And I think there will be, I think there will be just as many difficulties attached to it. I'm not sure. Well, I think that there could be a danger. The people who've got leisure and money ah, are ah, elderly. No, but as we said, we'll have to be very careful who comes yes, here. Yes, we must indeed. Of course, that's understood. But it is quite difficult, Christian G, because money, we have to pay the bills. I understand all that. But we'll have to go very carefully into all this. <coughs> I mean, it's not going to happen tomorrow. No. <laughs> Except that in that we're talking as we are, it is happening. It is happening in the sense we are moving in that direction. Yes. That think, is it. I think if we ha basic, agree basically about, uh, you know, the direction it's taking, then I think we can go very carefully into the details and That's work I'm out saying. the details. Details, we, if we take, if we first of all start with details, we never agree. Yeah. We'll just be talking everlasting about details. I, you should do this. But if we agree in principle that this is the right direction, hmm, and that we all want this direction, then we can turn our minds to other things. But if you are if you are uncertain about this, we must make it clear now, or another time. You know what I mean. Perhaps this is totally new, that you have to think about it, you have to, you know, find out if, all the rest of it. Presumably we wouldn't send students away, we'd let them grow out of the school. Next year, just take on 15 year olds, no, the year after take on 16 year olds. I think we'd have to be quicker than that. Yes, mm -hmm. right. uh, because I think that uh, if we've seen and agreed that this is a real thing that we're talking about, then I think that we should make it known to parents that this is the direction is changing, that we find it necessary to change the direction. Uh, should you know, two should, years wouldn't be, wouldn't uh, be too quick. Short. Intention is to make ourselves better people, ourselves mm. better people. I don't think we are answering Mr. Fowler's questions, and Mr. Fowler is not yielding either. Mr. Fowler. He's not yielding, he's sticking to his point. Well, I think I'm yielding to the extent that I'm suggesting that we do a slow transition. But we well, said that, sir. Mm -hmm. We said it's not something we've done day after tomorrow, it has to be done very carefully, very slowly, perhaps take a couple of years. Well, I, I just tell you that if we did it next year uh, at 15, then it would give us a, a chance to feel our way and see... We are doing it now, us. we are feeling it. We, we might well get applications from, as we used to, from older students mm -hmm. who finish with um, what's in the US is called high school, 
don't know what they want to do. And we've taken them some in the past, but more or less, they never really fit it in quite, because the focus was on younger students. And Frodo, for instance, mm. is a good example. Boy, come back. Mm. Fits in the, the maybe many, many who would, would like I to come so today if they knew about them. Mm. Mm. So that next year, if, if we were taking new students, we could add at that end instead of adding mm. at the uh, 14, 15 year old. I'm sure once the, it, if it goes out, if it's written up in the bulletin and the word gets out and everything, there'll be people will respond. No, but we must be careful how we yes. spread yes. these things. Yes, yes. Awfully, yes. otherwise the, the parents of these little children, why, you see, what, the, what are you all doing? <laughs> Be careful how we speak to, to the students, too. I, I'm, I'm, when I, so, as I said, it's a very tentative uh, inquiring whether we are moving in the right direction, <laughs> hesitating and saying, examining. We can't say, well, I'm, go, I'm going to tell the students immediately, you're not wanted in this year or next year. <laughs> and that would be cruel. Yeah. But do we? all feel this is the right direction. I keep on asking this. I think we do, sir. Yes. Yeah. I think we do. Be quite sure, sir. Not you think. Are you asking us, really, sir, whether it is the intention, whether all of us here in this room are really serious about... That's right. Yeah. I'm asking, I'm, ask, I'm absolutely asking that. And if they are, and they see the necessity of having leisure in the, in the correct, I'm using that word leisure in, in the right sense, to study, to inquire, to, you know, meditate, go into this profoundly. <coughs> if all of us see the necessity of that, the, then we can work out the details very carefully, slowly. Just when as we're not going to do anything for the next year, so it'll take time. We'll go into it very, very carefully. All the financial side and all the you know, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But we must be perfectly clear that we really as we're going to have leisure, that we are really serious. That's all I'm asking. to flower, to grow, to, you know, Leisure looks like I'm 85, I'm going to die. Pleasure to go into it. Also the question about what will they do? Who? Uh, the, the people in the school. The people school. in the school should answer that question, I feel. The, the maturity that you're looking for to make this thing work is that people won't have to be saying, at 9 o'clock you do this and at 3 o'clock you do that. They must find their own depth of seriousness and investigation and not just be recipients of a program. So it has been one of. That I think is very important. Huh? I think what Mary just said. Of course. And you will then know whether they belong or not. If they go and play tennis all day, mm. they don't. But if that will be the. I want, I'm not being personal, but I want to say something which is, I'm 85, probably I have another 10, 15 years, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm very well. But here in India, various schools, I feel it's important that somebody really understands what I'm talking about, not intellectually, but you, in depth and lives it and all the rest of it. Some people here in India, that's what I'm, you follow, sir? You, you understand what I'm saying? Would you be able to give us much time to ask? No, details will work out that's very carefully. Important. I'm not going, I don't, I won't enter into details at present, but I want this, I'm not I want. Do, do, we, do we want a, a brockwood like this?
where people are very serious and <coughs> using their leisure for serious purpose. And A-level, O-level and all that, some students who want to be, do that or some students who don't want to do that at all, who want to stay here. I wouldn't call them to drop out. If a man or boy in Seattle says, I want to come here, I'm 18, 20, I've decided this is, I want to go into all this, he should be here. He may, not, he may find that he's not serious or may drop out after being here. That's a different matter. But this is a place where if the fountain is flowing, I don't know if I'm using the word, and people come to drink the waters of this place, not spa. <laughs> not avion, vichy or something like that. Do we feel this up? <laughs> it's not, it's not a, probably a fair question, because this may be totally mm, new, or you have thought about it, maybe we are, I may be precipitating this. You may have said, please, I must have time to think over it, I must go into it. I will answer, we'll answer it a little later, that's perfectly right. But is this what we want to do here? See, this problem is going to arise when I go to India. has a reason, matter of fact, because I've precipitated it. In these schools, Rishabadi and Rajgarh and other places, there are over 350 students. And in Benares, Rajgarh, there are probably a thousand students, college and all the rest of it. They can't, I mean, we, we can't deal with, with such a large group. So what should we do? You follow? You understand? <coughs> There's a problem which we which have to face and we, are, we will deal with it. But if, if those schools, see that enormous number of students, you can't deal with the same thing as we do it here. They are well established. You can't say, well, we'll start again. It's impossible. Government, will, government won't allow it because these schools are very well known. The president of India's grandson or grand nephew's great-grandmother or somebody <laughs> is in the schools, therefore they, are, uh, they would absolutely shut the whole, I mean, throw <coughs> us all out and put new people in it. So we can't deal with that, with those schools as they are. We'll have to leave it, have find good people to work at it, that's the fun function of the foundation of India, they are doing it. Narayan is there and others are working at it. But the problem exists there, you understand? I wonder if I'm making myself clear. Not a problem, the, the demand is there. And we'll have to answer it, and we have already gone into it. I'm going, when I go to India next month, I'm going to go into it thoroughly. But before I go, I'm not, it's not I am important or anything. Before we leave, we have to come to some definite move. move. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> So you seem to, from what you are saying, you seem to sense in us a reluctance to move. Is little bit. Yes. I feel a little bit <laughs> slow. What do you say, sir? Yeah, yes, I'm a little bit slow. 
I am personally a little bit slow about it because it, it is it is rather new to me. Although many times I've wondered what the, what the place would be like without adolescents, and many times I've thought, why don't we just get rid of all these people? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Something makes me hesitate about it. No, no, sir. What we are saying is very simple, isn't it? Very simple, eh? No. Do you feel that that's the, that's the right movement, that's the right way to go along? I'm not sure. All right, good. Take time. <laughs> go into it. You understand, sir? What we said, a place where there are not only um, young people who are willing to come here, who have, may take a level, what a university, I don't know what it was called, but also other people who want to stay here, go into it, study. You follow? Take all that into consideration. And having leisure, you follow, sir? Leisure which makes us grow, flower, understand, be human beings of a totally different kind of beings, so that they will be a centre. I won't go into all that, you know what I'm talking Really, it's the leisure to work. What? It's the leisure to really work. Investigate. <coughs> See, I think if we don't listen or look at the at what we is being told us, all of us as we are here, we will do exactly what Christian Jesus just said. We'll be three hundred and seventy, um, <laughs> absorbed in making a school, doing a school, because we didn't stop and really look at what was happening. And I think it's very important that we do that. That is part of the leisure of working at this. And instead of the focus being in as a school, we are the focus. We are creating the... We are what will draw people here to say, look, we want to work at this. Quite right, quite so. You see, at Rishivel in Rajgarh, they've got about 400 acres there, or 300 acres. Rishivel has 400 acres. The school takes about 200 acres or more or less. And now I and a few of us thought that as such a big place, we should have a, a place there where older people can come, study. You follow? You understand what I'm saying? <coughs> and, but somehow it's not working out. Those people who will come will be the retired people. <laughs> you understand, sir? Who have left, who have worked till they are 55 or 65, exhausted. And Rishivel is a beautiful place. They say, well, sorry, we'd love to come <laughs> and settle down there. And we'll talk about serious stuff and all the rest. But their brains are washed up, you know. So it is not working out. So we'll have to find a different way of doing the same thing. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. <laughs> Are you, are you thinking it out? Don't take time. <laughs> <laughs> time is the worst enemy. No, when I came here, when I came here, it didn't take time. That's just it. 
So don't don't use time again. <laughs> now, tomorrow morning do we meet the whole school and outsiders, or shall we go on with this? So if we take time, as you say, I'm afraid that we might get into interminable discussions about this. Oh, no, no, that, that is it. Horror. I thought you were talking only to the students tomorrow. That's the way. I don't know. It's, I'm just asking. Tomorrow, Sunday, Tuesday, 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 Monday afternoon, I can do the whole thing with them. Monday. No, I'm only talking tomorrow. Let's <laughs> what do we do? You're only going to talk once more. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I'm just asking. Look, I've got to go to the dentist on Monday, Thursday, which means Thursday off. That's the ninth, and after that, or tenth or eleventh, I close shop. So you've got this, this period. And during that period, um, Mahogé and the Frenchmen are coming for television and all the rest, I don't know. So what do you have these days? What shall I do tomorrow? I feel that we could uh I feel that I, I feel that people overall are coming towards it strongly, clearly. There are many details to work out, but that's not for now. We can that can come a little late, later. But I feel that the school. I feel the school. I mean, needs, all of you. Yes. Meaning, meaning the students as well, pushing you tomorrow. I don't know. Unless you feel not so. I don't know. I don't know. I only talked to them uh, last last time. Only two or three spoke. The rest were very quiet. Probably <coughs> shy and. But they listened in, very in, much. In, they had interest in time. They said. Yes, yes. I don't know. I'm just saying. So what do you want me to do? The next few days. Come on, you. Sir, was there something more about this that you wanted to go into? Not in detail. Because we can discuss details when the thing is, if we all feel this, then the details will all agree. You follow? If this is not clear, we'll be fighting over details. You seem to be saying, Dorothy, that you feel there's no hesitancy within us, really. I don't feel it. Yeah. I, I feel there are particular areas which were difficult. Obviously, to obviously. So, Krishnji, are you are you seeming to say by asking whether you want to talk with us again? Are, are you? I don't. I'm hesitancy? asking you, sir. No, no, no. But do you think we're still too hesitant towards this? By asking for another meeting, see if if we really aren't hesitant. I don't see what the purpose of it would be. Just Personally, sir, I feel this is important. <coughs> hmm? We have compromised, right? Yes. And I think we should stop compromising. Yes. That's all my point. I may be wrong. And I, I feel whenever we compromise, things go wrong. That's what I'm pointing it out. You may, you may object to all this. And I personally, I don't like to compromise about anything. Except about my shoes and trousers. <laughs> Inwardly, I've never compromised. But if we all agree this is the right thing to do, then we'll have something new will happen in here. 
But if there is kind of hesitation, friction, and doubt, and say, well, what, you know, then it you will lose the vitality of it. But if there is any hesitation in anyone now, I mean, it should that's be what said I'm now. asking. I don't see how another meeting would make any difference. Hmm. If we don't speak up now, that's just carrying on with compromise. Mm. <laughs> Do you hear that, sir? <laughs> I'm going to say this, really, which is one of my reservations, which is, um, at the moment we have an excessive activity, that's what we're saying. We have an excessive activity. Ah, no, no, no. All right, all right. right? The moment we have an excessive activity. <coughs> but there's something about there's something about children, there's something about adolescents which which constantly makes you uh, sit up and meet a very sharp challenge. Adolescence is a very sharp challenge, both for the person who's going through it and for the person who is educating or attempting to educate him. There's a quality of sharpness in that. Uh, which certainly keeps people awake. It may exhaust them, and that's the negative side of them, but it keeps them awake also. When you have, when you have a group of uh, adults living together, who are all very nice people, they all get along with each other, at least it is in a certain way, nicely, uh, civilised way, in a civilised way, and adolescence isn't civilised really, it's rather an animal stage, which is what, well, <laughs> one of the interesting things about it. Uh, <clears throat> when you have this group of rather civilised people, fairly well educated, very nice, there's, there's a tendency, I feel, I feel there's, a, there's a tendency to, or there would be a tendency, or there might be a tendency, I'm not any strong, there might be a tendency for the, for the whole thing to go slack. That depends on the people, it on you. Depend on the, uh, of course it depends on the people, but I, th I, think, it's, I think it's a danger. You have so, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to challenge you. No, you don't need to be challenged. Put yourself in that what? position. What? Put yourself in that position. I don't think they do keep us awake, Steve. I think on the contrary, they put us to sleep in a different way because we're dealing with this that we're not really, we don't have the depth really to deal with. So we're dealing with it on, on a, super, a somewhat superficial level. We just don't have the depth to deal with it. And, we, and until we have a, a really profound ground that we're moving from, we really can't do anything. But um, you see, the profound ground is not in a change of horses, so to speak. This is yeah. what, this, the profound ground is not in a change of horses. It's not, it's a, not, it's it's not, not a change, change of horses. horses. It's not in a change of. It's not in a change of structure, nor is it in a change of persons. I don't think we're not that's changing that. I mean, that's not the attempt. That's not what's being attempted to but, uh, find that see, profound that, ground that, that way. What, you seem to be saying that this will. I'm, I'm not against the proposal. <clears throat> huh? Let me see, I'm not against the proposal if it's what I, I go along with it happily. Uh, I'm not uh, against uh, it. But no, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. It's no, not a no, personal no, objection. No, it's no. not a personal objection. This is something that I've lived with, I've worked with for a number of years. As long as I've been a teacher, I've dealt with adolescents. So, I, in a way, I have rather a soft spot for adolescents, actually. But with all their difficulties, problems, warts, and all, I, you know. Uh, Did you say what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I like so I like to speak up for them too. Um, well, I think what you're saying, Steve, that there's a danger that if we take older people, this might become a rather self-conscious community concerned with personal salvation. And I think that was the great beauty of having adolescents, that there's always the work with them. And I, I do agree with you, there is a very definite... Are you it's not saying... that they keep you awake, but they, they, they question you. Huh? Yes, they do. I think we should, I think we still should have adolescents. You will have them. I, you will that's them. it, I mean, I think we should still them. have them. And also, isn't there a greater, I don't like the word challenge, but... Mm. Uh, to say it quickly, in facing um, 
what we do, that we don't become complacent and sink into a sort of comfortable state. In fact, the requirements that are faced with us if we have this leisure are enormous and much bigger than coping with adolescence, I would think. I thank God don't have to cope with adolescence, so I'm guessing. But you will, you will have some adolescence. Yes, right. yes. You're yes. bound to have some. Yes. And I think it will be there. I think that, uh, that uh, I, I understand what Stephen's saying and what Ryan's saying, but I think we will have them. Mm -hmm. But we won't have those that we just spend endless time on uh, answering a, so, uh, a repetitive challenge. And also, I think that one of the big traps here has been we, out of our deep concern for these children, we felt, well, we must offer a full education to them, a full academic education, exams and all, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And then that, because we've had all of that, then we haven't been able to give our energy and time to our inner change and also the change of the young people. Steve, is your reservation that this might become a sort of ashram like any other place. Is that your reservation? There's, there's something else. There's probably something else. I feel it may become rather, shall I say, bourgeois. Mm -hmm. What? But static. Bourgeois. What? The place may become rather ah, bourgeois. That depends static. on you. Yes. Of course. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think, I think, I'm not saying one should go into it. But Is I'm, it not bourgeois now? Yes. I don't think so. I don't think Maybe, so. don't I? Who is going to ask? I'm asking you. I think, you. I think one has to go into it with one's... It is, in a sense, because, because all the money comes from, you know, from the support. I know, I'm not talking that. I'm talking the sense of being occupied endlessly and not having leisure for something much more deeply. That's all. That I would call bourgeois. Yes. Yes. Because yes, I agree, but the other won't make it, you know, the other won't, you know, the other, the, the other yes. one doesn't guarantee. You see, nothing is guaranteed. I think that's all I'm, I think that's all I'm saying, that nothing is guaranteed by this. It isn't. It's not a guarantee. I'm not looking for a guarantee. I'm not asking for a guarantee. I'm saying there is no guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. And that is, that is non-bourgeois attitude. The totalitarians are spitting on this word of bourgeois. They are essentially bourgeois. They are completely secure. <coughs> Better stop, don't you? Or do you want to say something? <coughs> Did we decide? I don't need for you to tell me. Do we have a school, a school meeting tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Do we have a, a meeting with everyone tomorrow? Yes, we have an ordinary school meeting. You mean with, with Christian Jane? Yes. 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 Start with Jane. Yes. What about the guests? Yes. It is the last Sunday. I, I think, Christian Jane, that people are saying they would like it <coughs> with staff, oh, students, and guests tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. Sit down. Say. <laughs> <laughs>